Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing my brand new laptop, the Asus uh, Tough A15 or A15. It has an RTX 4060. If you're thinking of picking one up, so I'll just show you. Lights, you can change them to a lot of different colors. Um, it is a bit of a fingerprint madness. You do tend to get a lot of fingerprints. You can wipe it off easily. Um, it has a Ryzen. It's pretty fast. It runs like basically every single game, uh, 144 hertz monitor. And I just want to say, guys, if you have any questions about this laptop that I don't bring up in this video, please go in the comment section below, ask away. I'll either reply to you within minutes or if I think it's good enough for a video, I'll make a video on it. Or if it's any games you want me to like make a video on while running the laptop, I'll do that also, of course. So um, well, that's one thing I'm doing in the further future with my channel is basically making videos for people who are interested in this laptop so i'll be playing all different sorts of games like i literally played starfield on this and it runs it so well i was playing like some high settings some low settings some medium settings but the game looks great like it looks really well it's a 1920 by 1080 p screen so for the size of the screen it's only 15 inches it looks pretty good it's 144 hertz so it's pretty fucking smooth Battery life is decent, it's about eight hours while just watching videos and content. And if you're playing a game, it will die a bit faster, but I feel like that's just obvious. Um, it has a 250 power watts uh, charger, so it charges up pretty fucking quick, about 45 minutes, I believe. Um, outdoors, it can tend to be a little bit too dim, um, but it's alright, it's definitely usable. Like, if you're not in direct sunlight, you can definitely, definitely play games and stuff. Like, watching content is fine, but I remember I was trying to play Starfield outside. And I was like, this is a bit too dim. And then I just, like, went to the settings, changed the brightness inside the game as well. So that's also another tip, is obviously make sure the screen brightens up, but then also the game. And that can help tremendously. Um, I'll show you the ports. It has a 720p camera, by the way, in case you're wondering. The ports here, so you have your charger, Ethernet, you have a HDMI, two USB-Cs, a USB audio jack, which is surprising nowadays. Most of the time they're gone. Another USB. And I'm pretty sure one of these USB-Cs is like 10 gigabit. So I can charge my phone off this. It's really good. Um, It's like a, not a cheap plastic. It almost feels metallic, but it's hard to explain. One thing I love is some laptops, really cheap laptops, if you pull the lid, you think this will fall, but it doesn't, it doesn't come up. And it's pretty sturdy, so it actually feels pretty expensive. This laptop did set me back 1,200, but I got it for a deal on amazonco.uk, so I'm not sure if that's still on at the moment, but if you can get it for 100, 200 less, I'd definitely say go for it. This one has the RTX 4060, has the AMD Ryzen, I'll have a look there now. I think it's the it's the 7000 series anyways. I'll have in the title of the channel, the video anyway, so. Um, it goes pretty fast, like four gigahertz, has eight cores, 16 threads, uh, 16 gigs of RAM of DDR5, a 4800 megahertz. So it's pretty fucking fast. Oh yeah, so there it is, 10, 100 watt Type-C fast charging as well. So it's pretty fucking good. RGB, fans are good. You can set different modes like within the software already installed and basically allows you to like performance mode, silent mode. So like right now it's in silent mode so you can't even hear the fans. I'm pretty sure that it's off at the moment. So it's pretty fucking good. I've had this laptop for about three weeks and honestly, I love it. Like every game that I've played on it runs so well. Like. I was like, mm, will it run Starfield? Will it run The Witcher 3? Because I love The Witcher 3 and I've been playing that again. And I was like, I wonder like, how well it would run. And I played the base version of The Witcher. I'm not sure if you know, but in The Witcher 3 now, there is an updated version, ne the next gen, and basically it runs that also like really well with a few ray tracing. Like You can actually do ray tracing on this and it actually runs pretty well. Um, but if there's any other games that you want me to play, test, etc. I'll make videos on them. And if there's anything I didn't bring up in this video, I'll tell you all in the comments below. Um, please do subscribe if you found this video in any way 
good or helpful. Um, I just want to give you guys the best content possible. I also have um, a Steam Deck, so I can make videos on that as well. Um, I also have a game PC with an RTX 3070, so I can make videos with that as well, if you have any interest in any of them, if you're wondering purchasing anything. Um, but yeah, hope you guys had enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's helpful to anyone that's thinking of getting it. If I were you, scour the internet, find laptops around the same price range as this, this laptop cost me around 1,000 euros. So I don't know what that is in whatever currency you use, but yeah. But I feel like for the price of what I got, this is the best. I was also looking at the MSI. There was an MSI cyborg, but the bottom of it was like all like really cheap looking. It was like transparent and stuff. So I just left that one alone. I was just like, nah, I just wanted something that felt a little bit more premium. And looked a bit better. I'm actually thinking of taking off these stickers and stuff because it looks a bit too gamery. I want it to look a little bit more normal when I'm out and go. Because I'm thinking of traveling a lot and stuff. So that's why I got myself this laptop. Because I want to travel more and more in 2024. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'm going to be a lot more consistent on this channel again. It's been a long time since I've posted. But I have have an urge to start making videos. So I'm thinking of posting once a week. Um... But I might post a few videos this week just because I've just begun. So please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have about this laptop. Thanks for watching.